the point of getting the vaccine if you're going to catch COVID-19 anyway? That's a pretty philosophical question, isn't it? So yeah, I mean, it sounds like COVID-19 is here to stay and the chances are that you may get it. Getting the vaccine will help you reduce your symptoms. It will protect you against long COVID and you're going to protect all your relatives, your family, your friends, family, your aunt, your granny. And that's really important because we need to reduce these vulnerable people from going to hospital. Yeah, OK, but I've had COVID and all I had was migraines. I'm sure I've got antibodies, so why should I get vaxxed? You're right, you would have a bit of immunity. But the problem is your body's memory isn't great. And as your immunity wanes, you're just going to get it again. Getting the vaccine will help boost your immunity, makes it remember how to fight off that virus. So this Pfizer jab is a new type of vaccine, right? Why is it different from other vaccines? The Pfizer vaccine was what they call an mRNA vaccine. So the first thing to say is it's not some unknown concept to us. It's been in science for years and years and years. Your immune system to the vaccine is the same as any vaccine. The only difference is you're using mRNA to help uh, produce this protein. And then your immune system recognizes that and said, that's not supposed to be here. And starts making antibodies, starts promoting an immune response. And that's how it's gonna work. Was the vaccine process rushed? Short answer, no. This is a worldwide pandemic. There's been so much resources, you know, more staff, more people, more labs, more equipment, just powering through creating this, this vaccine. And that's how this has been done so, so quickly. But how can we be sure the vaccine is safe for us? There's been a lot of science behind this and lots of safety tests. And it has been like 10 billion doses given worldwide of, of these vaccines. So even if you don't trust anything else, you can trust the numbers. What about the side effects? Can they be bad? You might get a little bit of a temperature, might be a sore throat, maybe a runny nose, maybe a little bit of a headache. But if anything, that kind of tells you your body is reacting to the vaccine so that you know it's working. Okay, but my mate said some side effects can cause trouble with your heart. What's all that about? All medicines have some level of kind of potential side effects. If you get COVID, you have a much, much, much more higher chance of getting heart inflammation and a heart problem, or a much higher chance of getting a blood clot than if you took the vaccine. Does it affect fertility? They researched that and essentially they didn't find any evidence. Of course, if you're worried, go and speak to your GP. Feel free to, to ask questions and uh, be comfortable in making your own decision. What happens during the vaccination? Does it hurt? I don't like needles. Unfortunately, the only way you can get a vaccination is through a needle. It's very, very easy and not very painful at all. If you have a phobia of needles, then they'll be help for you as well. But what happens if I miss the vaccination for some reason? It's okay. If you missed your uh, vaccination in school, there's loads of places you can get it done. Contact your GP, contact your pharmacy, or you can even call 119. 119? 119. 119. Or you can go to this website called everythingcovid.info. That's basically everything you need to know about COVID. And it's got a really simple, direct, bookable link. And then go ahead and book it.